Hello all. Um, I've had some comments about how I edit videos uh, to upload to YouTube. Um, I'll start off by saying I have I'm no expert in any way at this at all. Uh, but I'll just step through the tools that I use, and then uh, you can use your uh, creativity to do, uh, edit your own videos. Um, first of all, to record audio, I depend more on Alsa and uh, since I'm using Ubuntu I think this is installed by default or maybe you have to get the extras in any case it's a uh, also mixer and brings up a little console and I just uh, arrow key over to the, pretty much the end on my system and I have a cheap microphone plugged in and the first entry where it says rear mic, I try to leave that low, uh, zero, zero. And the boost is uh, 10 dB. And uh, <clears throat> the reason I keep it low is because if I crank this up, I'll get feedback through the speakers. Um, but I can adjust that later, which I'll uh, get into. So just make sure you have your system, whatever you're using, your audio working. And I know some of my videos have been had weird noises. I'm trying to work this out. Um, hopefully, this one will come out without any uh, um, erroneous noises or backgrounds and stuff. Background noises. So, when you're done with that, you just uh, hit the escape key and exit. Now, to record, I use a simple screen recorder. And I have some pictures here. Uh, control zero, make that a little bigger. And uh, after you press continue, this is totally optional on what you want to use to record. But uh, I usually select the full screen, the entire screen. Uh, that's my resolution. And I have two monitors, so it's the, just the first monitor. And I record at 30 frames per second. Record the cursor and then the microphone and the back end is also. Alright, I think that's it and I don't scale the video at all. Next, uh, you output it to MKV for me. Um, now if you lower this down, this constant rate factor, I can't do this, it's only a picture, um, to zero it would output the, like basically the raw video, which is probably the best way to do it, but um, uh, this is on a solid state drive, so I don't have that much uh, hard drive space. So the default is 23 anyway, so I just left it there. Allow frame sk skipping. I unchecked that, just an experiment um, with the audio, because uh, uh, YouTube complains that uh, my audio might be out of sync, but I haven't noticed it being out of sync. Uh, for the codec, again, I can make it just a straight wave, which is probably the best thing to do. The, the more raw the output is, the better your video is going to be because you when you compress it you can sort of trim down what you need at the point but again limited on disk space so one uh, 128 is a bit rate that's the standard finally uh, this is simple uh, you start recording and you can change your hot key if you want and when you're done um, you hit this it will say pause recording and then save and then go back to the start or just close this. So Once I'm done, um, it outputs to the videos. And here's the video that's recording right now. And here's the one I made earlier. I just renamed it to 00. zero. You can call this anything, output anything, whatever you want. Um, what I have to do, though, is the volume is low. So I open Audacity and drag this in. And you can tell right away, vi visually, it's very low input. So I just uh, click in this area here, uh, go to Effect, Normalize, press OK. And I'll do some noise removal, but I won't do that in here. I'll just uh, save it as it is because I know the audio has been boosted. Usually I trim the ends too to cut out the, any noise at the end and at the beginning. So I just uh, file export it's wave kind of redundant but uh, there we go I could have output that to an MP3 but we'll just leave it at wave so I press c c 
control Q to quit and uh, I don't want to save changes. So now I go back to that folder in videos. Now I have a output 00 wave and an output 00 MKV video. Uh, next up is uh, Kaden Live. That's what I use to edit. I'll just add clips. So the ones that I made were output 00 MKV and output 00 wave. So I hold the control key and I hit open and there it goes creating thumbnail. So you can see there's a time difference already 36 seconds and the output wave is 35. Okay so what I do is uh, take the video first drag it into video 2 and right click split audio right click again ungroup clips and then hit this audio here and delete. And I take the uh, audio where it's been uh, boosted and drag it into audio one. And I press the space bar to play it and space bar to pause and then when you want to zoom into a clip just press the control key and mouse wheel. So I don't know if you wanted to say if you want to cut say here for example I just uh, press video and then hold down the control key on audio and then I press shift and R and that cuts that portion and again uh, control key to select just the portion you don't want and press delete now control key again to have these both and just move it to the beginning and that's pretty much all I do for editing and at the end here I usually trim this out and as far as a transition um, if I need one I'll just uh, do the same control and then shift R and then say uh, take this part that's uh, been cut move it over a bit now not a this is not a great example but um, you shouldn't you, should, you shouldn't have any audio, but it doesn't matter. This is just an example. But when you do this, you see this little arrow up here. When you click that, it adds a nice little transition. I'll mute the audio, then we can take a look in this window here. You can resize this as well. You can actually customize your layout to what you like. But And you can also go full screen, but it's kind of buggy. Okay, so I'll just resize this enough and just hit the space bar to play there we go that was a very very quick transition but you could see it though and it's dissolve as it's called here in the effects there okay and uh, I just keep doing that if I need to edit out parts of videos which I will do with this one and just use it just to dissolve transition uh, just to cut out parts and not be so abrupt. Now if the audio is too low, uh, sometimes I like to uh, go to the effects list, go to audio correction and hit normalize, double click that and I go, sometimes I, it's usually about 300 I boost it, so 300, enter and you now see on this first audio portion it says normalize and do the same thing effects list double click normalize and 300 press enter just in case and now it has normalized on the wave as well and you can get really really uh, detailed you know like you can zoom in quite a bit you can see the waveform here is really stretched out you can see the dissolve um, transition and stuff and for the odd time I use uh, captions, I use I, I reserve video one for that. So you just uh, go to uh, project, uh, add title clip and test. Okay, that's way too small. So let's bring that up to say like 70. <laughs> and the color, whatever, um, just pick a, any color for now and uh, we will make it uh, bold and anywhere you whoops text and uh, test 
video. And change the font because sometimes it doesn't like, uh, there we go. Anything, and bold, and then hit this one. This to center it across, and to center it up and down. So that's in centered, basically. And then hit OK. And here's your title clip. You see it there. You can play it. It's uh, five seconds or so long, maybe five seconds, it says. So you can put that anywhere or where you have to. And again, that's a little uh, transition in there. So again, let's just uh, play. And you can see that test video over top. Not a good color. I didn't. I picked the wrong color. But uh, you get the idea. And that's um, pretty much all I do. Like I said, I'm no expert at this. I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but they seem to work out okay because most of the time the audio is the problem. The video is what I have to work with. But I do like Caden Live. I think it's really good. Uh, when you have split clips, uh, press the control and the home key on your keyboard if you can. And I'll bring you right to the beginning. And uh, when you want to render, um, there used to be a way to download rendering profiles, but this never, it doesn't load anymore. There used to be uh, YouTube 1020, 1920 by 1080, but it, it nothing happens. It just times out. So I just go to render, MPEG 4, MP3 output. Um, export audio. Uh, you can. I have six cores, so it's six here. Rescale 1920 by 1080. Make sure that's. And then just hit render to file, or first of all, put in like something like test, and then render to file. And you see now it's starting to to render. All right, so it finished. Uh, one minute or so. Uh, that's because I'm recording and stuff. So I can just do clean up, and then close this. And if you're working on this, you can save it, but I'm not going to save it. It'll prompt you to save if you want to save the project. I'm going to hit no, of course, because I don't need to. So where does that go? Uh, by default, it goes to the Kden Live folder. And test MP4, so 27 or so megabytes. And the third stage is to open Handbrake, which you can get through uh, PPA. And Source. Uh, once you've ran this a few times, it automatically will go to Caden Live. That's the way you have things set up. Press OK. Watch the scaling here. Sometimes it's off, but it's fine here. And first one, I make sure the check is web optimized. Okay. That'll do a bit of a preload for the uh, video. Under video, I changed the bit rate to 800 because there isn't a lot of, uh, it's not like a video game video. Um, there isn't much going on on the screen, so you can get away with this little kilobit. And audio, um, AAC is fine, and but put that down to 128. Back to summary, make sure you have everything checked, and then just hit start. Uh, you can tell it to open it to save to another directory, but videos is fine because it's uh, renamed to an M4V, and hit start. And you see at the bottom it's scanning and then coding. And get, it'll give you an estimated time and we're done so you can just close this go back to your videos folder there's the m4v 3.8 megabytes the the original was uh, 7 so um, handbrake helps to cut down the size of the video and also optimizes it for web especially YouTube so you just double click and open in uh, VLC player and I'll mute the audio and make it large screen. Okay. And there we go. That is it. That is all I uh, do. And any suggestions be uh, more than welcome. If you see something I'm doing wrong with Caden Live or something else, that would be awesome. But uh, that's what I do. And. Uh, Hopefully that uh, helps anybody out that's wondering about video editing in Linux. Okay? So thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.